Hydrolytic alopecia is the most common cause of hair loss affecting up to 50% of men and women. It presents with gradual loss or thinning of hair in both males and females following a characteristic distribution due to which it is called male pattern hair loss and female pattern hair loss respectively. Although there are no serious health consequences, this condition can be distressing, affecting self-esteem and confidence. Research shows more than 55% of men in India, mostly aged between 30 and 50 years, are affected with baldness. Few are affected in teenage years too. It can occur in both men and women any time after puberty. Women can get affected at both younger age as well as during menopause. Unfortunately, there is no permanent cure for pattern hair loss, but diagnosis and treatment in early stages can help reverse androgenetic alopecia and delay balding. Results can be sustained for long only when the maintenance regimen recommended by the doctors is followed religiously. Androgenetic alopecia is a predetermined genetic condition of hair loss where there is progressive thinning of hair causing baldness if left unattended. As the name suggests, multiple genes, both metanol and petanol, can cause hair thinning by an abnormal response of hair follicles to dihydrotestosterone hormone, which is a male hormone. Sons are at 5 to 6 times the higher relative risk if their fathers have baldness. 30% of the cases may not have a family history of baldness. Under the influence of genes, scalp hair follicles become abnormally sensitive to a dihydrotestosterone hormone affecting the hair growth cycle and causing gradual shrinking of hair follicles. Unlike males, the role of dihydrotestosterone is not clearly defined in females in causing pattern hair loss. Besides genetic causes, menopause, conditions associated with hormonal imbalance like polycystic ovarian syndrome, insulin resistance, hyperprolactinemia, adrenal hyperplasia and rarely ovarian and adrenal tumors etc. can cause hair thinning. The normal hair cycle of the human scalp has an active growth phase which can last from 2 years to 7 years. This is followed by a brief stage of regression that is catagen which lasts for 1 to 2 weeks and then a resting phase, telogen phase lasting from 5 to 6 weeks to about 100 days. In androgenetic alopecia, pre-programmed hair follicles under the genetic influence become reactive to DHT hormone with alteration in hair cycle dynamics. DHT hormone binds to the receptors on the vulnerable hair follicles and triggers hair loss and hair thinning. The life cycle of hair follicles undergoes a gradual transformation from long growth and short rest cycles to short growth and long rest cycles. This leads to the transformation of thick, healthy, dark hairs to short, thin, non-pigmented hair finally leading to complete loss of hair. Loss of hair at the temples with the gradual receding of hairline resembling the alphabet M. Reduced hair density with visible scalp. Bald patches on the crown of the head. Thinning of hair eventually resembling peach fuzz. These changes eventually lead to partial or complete baldness. Excessive hair thinning with a reduction in braid or ponytail size. Loss of hair volume strength, scalp showing through. Widening of hair parting with the frontal hairline intact. Thorough one-to-one -one consultation helps your doctor understand the cause of hair loss and arrive at a diagnosis. Blood investigations are recommended to check nutritional deficiencies and hormonal imbalance wherever needed. Treatment of androgenetic alopecia may include topical or oral medications which are prescribed on a case-to-case -case basis 
depending on the stage and severity of hair loss. Medications include topical solutions like minoxidil, capixil, etc. and oral medications like specific nutritional supplements, finasteride, dutasteride, etc. which help in controlling the hair shedding and hair thinning. Depending on the grade and progression of hair loss, procedural treatments like platelet-rich plasma therapy or PRP therapy or hair transplant may be advised if required in addition to the medications. Having understood about androgenetic alopecia, we can say that baldness can be postponed and hair regrowth can be promoted with only one solution, that is early diagnosis and treatment. Results can be sustained with long-term usage of external application alone or with oral medications but under the dermatologist's supervision.